when I was young, uh, the water supply from the river. Because we don't have a proper tap water at home, and we don't have electricity as well. Even the floor is not cement, it's grey. My family at that point in time still very poor. Mm. So I start my first job in a little factory, very small factory. Blue collar worker, general worker, or you can call the sweeper as well. One thing is in my mind, it's okay. This is my first job. I need to just take it. I need to learn the skill. I learned in six to seven years. I have this skill now. So one day there was an incident happened between me and my older brother. So we were discussing about the poverty of my family. We cannot continue this way. It's a big argument. I decide say enough is enough. But if I believe myself just a general worker, I will continue to be a general worker. I can set up my small little factory with my the other twin brother and with other, another friend. No capital, but usually we put a few thousand people together. I know nothing about business at that point in time, especially in accounting, uh, legal framework. But this few things did not stop me because I think it's important. I learned along the way. You ask me honestly, can I understand what the bank is talking about personal guarantee when you take the facility away? You don't. You had no foundation, you knew nothing. How did you manage to learn so much in a span of that 10, 15 years? I like to ask many people in my life. I say, I need to know, you teach me. I am not so fortunate like people like you, you better teach me. So I learned all this throughout the years. Yeah, you know, George, um, I'm speechless. You went against all odds. You have gone through so much. And it's so hard, it's so difficult. It takes a man of tenacity to, to do what you do. At the age of 50, then I remember 2010. I went back to my lesson and to sing tenor. My teacher gave me some idea. Why don't you consider to take exam? You have some foundation. So I think about it, I think maybe good idea. I want to get my degree. I took on the, uh, the exam first time, I failed. Then I took on the second one, I failed again. My teacher asked me, George, please don't take any more exam because you failed too many times. Why is it that you never gave up? I know some people success very fast. They take one year, two year. Maybe I not belong to this category. I say, no, I think I cannot. I've gone so far already. It's about 12 years already. Feel so many times, right? I say, no. Lah. I think I need to take the fifth time. So finally, I, I got a 73 out of 100. So I'm happy at the age of 62. Yeah. Not many people <laughs> can sing, and the song is very difficult. Last year, right? At the age yeah. of 62, you received an honours degree in music performance, yeah. specifically classical opera. <laughs> Why go through that hardship again of learning everything from scratch? <laughs> I think uh, uh, classical music is in my heart because as I say, I start as a choir boy. I, I can't imagine a a village boy and, and at the opera house. Uh, you ask me, I don't understand as either. But I have been in the position, it's like this. Finally, when I got my degree, my sister say, we are very proud of you. My father and mother were very proud, eh? if they're still around, but they're not around. But it's okay. I talk to my mother. I say, I make it. I got my certificate now for the family. George, why is it making it is so important to you? If I, I am educated, people may look at me. 
a village boy. The country appoint me ambassador. I'm very proud. I want to do more than I can. Do you remember the first time you received a phone call and you were offered to become a non-resident ambassador? Yes. How did that happen? So when I took on this job, because I don't understand how complex, right? Because ambassadorship is not you apply, right? It's a point, but selected by them. Especially for NRA, it's an honorary position. There's no salary. You must know this. I remember the first trip when I asked to travel to Morocco. At the airport, the staff said, Ambassador Go, this, this is set of documents for you to understand. 100 word pages to 200 pages. So you've got to read as much as you can, try to remember which are the key points. So I begin to understand Morocco, the relationship in the past, right, between us and them. I learn as fast as I can. George, as a very successful entrepreneur, right, you know, now that you're an ambassador to Morocco, can you also adopt the same kind of mindset? As an entrepreneur, you take risks, right? Uh, diplomat, you cannot. You need to be very careful. I also must make sure that I represent my country well. well. I cannot overpromise. I cannot say something that is not right. So I built a very good relationship with Morocco in the past six years. Right. And so what were some of the changes that you have made as an ambassador to Morocco? The Moroccan cannot travel to Singapore because the visa has traveled all the way to Paris. And I look at Singapore, they do have a HCG office, Honorary Consul General Office here to issue the visa. At the Moroccan side, no. They have to travel. So how can we attract the tourists to Singapore? I also need the tourists to help my economy, right? <laughs> so I say, we must set up, so I present it to MFA. Please consider, <laughs> so supported by the minister, so I'm happy with that. Finally, we open our HCG office in Casablanca. So another point is quite important, we set up Moroccan Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Singapore. That means if the Moroccan want to invest in Singapore, there's some information they can ask the committee member. So this is the second I set up. I think it's important we should have this uh, economy go, keep going. This will help our Singapore as well because the investment can come to Singapore. I like more investment to Singapore, right? Especially, uh, we depend a lot of investment from overseas. At the moment, we have done a few areas, but I hope we can do more in the near future. Mm. You're 63 this year. Right? Yes. You're very, very successful. You're very big-hearted. A lot of people in your position would have taken an easy way out. That means they would much prefer to really slow down, retire, and spend the rest of their 20, 30 years of their lives with their loved ones. But it seems to me that you are still going strong and you give me the impression that you still have so much that you want to give and offer to the people around you, especially to our nation. Why? What drives you to want to continue to give more? I accumulated so many years of experience. I think if you can serve your nation, I think that is an honour to me. I represent Singapore and Singaporeans. If I don't take this opportunity to do it, I may not have a chance to do it. If any other way that I can serve in my nation, and the people think I can serve the nation, I will do my best. Physically, I'm healthy. I would like to give a good few years before my retirement to my nation. Now there is this quote, you know, it is, not everybody is born to do great things like Bill Gates and Mother Teresa, but every single one of us is born to do small things in a great way, with great love. Yes. 
And I, and I believe that if all of us Singaporeans can adopt this attitude, that it really doesn't matter where we come from, yeah. as long as we don't give up and we're willing to give our very, very best, Singapore will become a better place. I think I know it's hard for everybody. Let's stand together, hold hands together. Yeah. I will do my best as ambassador. I will do my best in my charitable organization. I will do my best in my business in CSR. From the very, very bottom of my heart, George, I want to thank you for this in-depth conversation. And thank you for sharing your heart of gratitude and life experiences with yeah. me and with our audience as well. Yeah. So Belinda, I must you. say thank you to allow me to share my humble beginning mm. <laughs> and also allow me to share my success story mm. and the failure story. I deeply appreciate The feeling is mutual. Yeah, thank you. Just really, really want to say thank you. Thank you so much.